Big Pimpin', baby. This your boy K-Ray back at you again and uh, this is another side dish that I'm going to prepare today for my little uh, cookout that I'm doing for uh, me and some, fr and some friends later on today I'm um, on the other side of town at my mom's house uh, we just get together hang out over there on the weekend and you know every now and then I just do uh, you know some cooking for everybody we just sit back kick it drink a couple of beers uh, listen to some music and um, just enjoy our weekend so what I'm gonna do with this is this is a cabbage head so I'm going to show you how I cut my cabbage and what I'm going to do is just blanch it a little bit in some boiling water for about 10 minutes um, to get some of the toughness out of it and I'm gonna take them out put them in a pan uh, put some seasonings in it some margarine, some minced garlic, and some other seasonings, and uh, some kind of liquid, maybe beer, uh, I might do water, uh, it just depends on what I'm feeling like once I get over uh, on that side of town. And actually, I'm going to smoke, them, smoke it the rest of the way on the pit. Um, I mean, cabbage can absorb pretty much any type of seasoning that you throw at it and it will like stick perfect and um, it still won't I mean it, 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 it'll mellow it out it'll mild it out a little bit but you can still taste the cabbage flavor and you can taste whatever flavor that you uh, want with it that, however you want to cook it you can taste that flavor to it so uh, I even do these like in, in, in crawfish balls and uh, you know I did it start doing it last year at a, at a couple of crawfish balls and it, 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 it uh, won everybody over like like really really good and uh, you have to be a little careful with the crawfish balls to, to put this in on the back end because it'll absorb too much of the spices and will be like way over spicy so but that's that's for another day you know we'll talk about that at another day but I already I'm, I'm doing three heads of cabbage I already got two heads cut because I don't want to bore you cutting three heads of cabbage um, back to back so I'm gonna just do one show you um, how I how I cut mine which is pretty simple anybody that know how to cut cabbage they, they it, you know they don't need to know but it may be some newbies that, that don't know so I'm gonna go through that process as well and then I'm gonna go through the blanching process which is real easy and simple and I'll finish it up later on this evening once I put the cabbage on the pit and let it uh, begin to smoke. So I'm just start out like with my 10 inch shelf knife right here. Pretty sharp, works pretty good. You just cut the cabbage right down the middle. Straight down the middle. Cut out the core that's in it right here. Just angle it, pop it. And the core is out. Do the same thing for the other one. Angle it. Angle it. Pop it. Pop it. And it's done. So now I'm going to just cut everything in halves. Cut this one in half. Cut this one in half. Cut this one in half, whatever other little core that's left on. And as you can see, it'll come apart pretty, pretty nice. Pop that one. Half, half, core. Just as simple. That's it. 
One full pan, three heads of cabbage. That's all to hold me off for at least 20 people. And like I say, I'm doing cooking for 20 people, you know, with a budget under 100 bucks. So, you know, at five bucks per person, um, I don't think you can really beat that. So what I'm gonna do is, I got my water boiling. When I blanch them, I'm gonna go through that process with everybody, put them in the pan, season them down, wrap them up, put them in the trailer, and uh, take them to the other side. And uh, we'll finish the cook off on this later on today, later. Okay, got my water boiling or burling, as my boy JB would say. I love that dude, though. man, he's quite a character. I love all his videos. Shout out to you, JB. Give me inspiration over here in this camp. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just start the blanching process uh, with this cabbage. Um, just grab out like so, drop it in, in, the, in, in the boiling water. Uh, you can use your hands or tongs or whatever, you know, it, really don't matter stir them up a little bit I have to let them cook down some but like I say I just blanch them because I don't want to be all day I mean like if you don't blanch them it'll take four or five hours for these things to cook um, on slow smoke pit so if I can knock me off a couple of hours by doing this process, um, that's definitely a good thing for me. So I think uh, I may have to go two steps on this because I don't have a big enough pot. I could have used a stock pot, but hey. This is fine. Maybe when it boil down a little bit, I could add a few more to it and just only have to do uh, one step. But if I have to do one step or two steps, I will be back and let you guys see how uh, these come out after being blanched. So after it comes up to a boil, maybe boil them for about 10 minutes, no more than 15 minutes, and uh, we'll be good to go. Get back with you shortly. All right. As you can see, I'm on my second batch of blanching process of my cabbage, um, it's almost done. I can cut the fire off now. It's ready to go. Uh, as you can see, this is the first batch over here. It's good to go. Um, blanching, it just takes a little bit of the toughness out of it and you know, narrow down the, the cook on it once I put it on the grill. Everything that I'm cooking today it's gonna be kind of fast. I'm just cooking some pork chops and chicken, sausage, just a little stuff like that, so we can get it done quick and eat quick. So, like I said, the next thing I'm gonna do with this is just add some margarine, some minced garlic, some seasoning, some liquid, and um, put them on the grill. Let them smoke in the pan. Probably about an hour and a half with no fall, probably about an hour and a half with fall, so probably about three hours total with this. Hopefully it'll be shorter than that, but um, I can kind of go with three hours. So uh, let me finish up. I'll get back with you guys in a little bit. All right, I'm back. This is it. Um, should be ready to go. Get ready, just fall it up, put it on the pit, and let it go. Um, what I did, I added some seasonings to it. You know, my little Holy Trinity season that I use. I also added some sticks of margarine, some red pepper flake to give it a little heat, and some minced garlic. And what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to just use the broth uh, that I uh, blanched this in as my liquid. Um, I smell that it has a pretty good um, aroma to it. So I think I'm going to just package that up, take it with me, pour it in this pan, and use it for um, for my liquid to steam it while it's um, in the smoker. It'll be steaming and smoking at the same time. So 
me steam and smoke that's a pretty good combination so that's it I'm gonna get ready to head out get back with you guys in a little bit later now what y'all know about them Texas boys coming down to candy toys smoking weed and talking no.